Chapman Billy's lay the street, and Ruthie neighbours neighbours meet, as market days are wearing late, and folk begin to tack the gate, while we sit boozing at the nappy, and getting foo and unca happy. We think on the lang Scots miles, the mossy's water slaps and styles that lie between us and our hame, where sits our sulky, sullen dame. Gathering our brews like gathering storm, nursing our wrath to keep it warm. This truth found honest Tam O'Shanter's he's the airy lift of canter. All there, one there a tune surpasses for honest men and bonny lasses. Ah, Tam, hadst thou but been so wise as tain thy ain wife Kate's advice, she told thee weel thou was a skellum. A blethern, blustern, drunken blellum. The free November till October. A market day thou was nae sober. That ilka melder with a miller, thou sat as lang as thou had siller. That every nag was caught a shoe on, the smith and thee got roar and foo on. That at the Lord's house, <gasps> even on Sunday, Thou drank with Kirk and Jean till Monday. She prophesied that later soon thou would be found deep drowned in doom, or catched with warlocks in the murk by Alloway's old haunted Kirk. Ah, gentle dames, it guards me greet to think how many counsels sweet, how many lengthened sage advices the husband frae the wife despises. But to our tale, a market nicht, Tom had got planted unger richt, fast by an angle blazing finely, with reeming swats that drank divinely, and at his elbow, suitor Johnny, his ancient, trusty, druthy crony. Oh, Tam lowed him like a very brother. <laughs> they had been foo for weeks together. The night drave on with sangs and clatter. And I, the ale was growing better, and the landlady and Tam grew gracious with secret favours, sweet and precious. The suitor told the queerest stories. The landlord's laugh was ready chorus. The storm without might rear and rustle. Tam did na mind the storm a whistle. Care, mad to see a man so happy, in drooned himself among the nappy. As bees flay hame with laids a treasure, the minutes wing their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious, or are the ills o' life victorious? But pleasures are like poppies spread. Who sees the flower, its bloom is shed, or like the snow falls in the river, a moment white. And melts forever, or like the Borealis race that flit ere you can point their place, or like the rainbow's lovely form evanishing amid the storm. Nay man can tether time or tide. The hour approaches, Tam on ride. That hour o' night's black arch the key stain, that dreary hour Tam mounts his beast in. And sick a night he takes the road in, as ne'er poor sinner was abroad in. The wind blew as to a blaw on its last. The rattling showers rose on the blast. The speedy gleams the darkness swallowed. Loud, deep, and lang the thunder bellowed. That night a child might understand. The deal had business on his hand. Will mounted on his grey mare Meg, a better never lifted leg, Tam skelp it on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire, whilst holding fast his gid blue bonnet, whilst crooning o'er some old Scots sonnet, while glowering round with prudent cares, lest bogles catch him unawares. Kirk Alloway was drawing nigh, where geese and howlets nightly cry. By this time he was crossed the ford, where in the snaw the chapman smored, and past the birks and Micklestain, where drunken Charlie Brack's neck bane, and through the winds and by the cairn, where hunters find the murdered bairn, 
and near the thorn aboon the well were Munger's mother hanged herself. Before him Doon pours all his floods. The doubling storm roars through the woods and lightnings flash from pole to pole. Near and more near the thunders roll. When glimmering through the groaning trees, Kirk Galloway seemed in a breeze. Through Ilka bore the beams were glancing and loud resounded mirth and dancing. Inspiring bold John Barleycorn, what dangers thou canst make us scorn. We tippany, we fear nae evil. We ask we be, we'll face the devil. The swat sea reamed in Tammy's noddle. Fair play, he cared nae deals a bottle. But Maggie stood, right sair astonished. Till by the heel and hands admonished, she ventured forward on the light and... Oh, oh Tam saw an unca sight. Warlocks and witches in a dance. Oh, Nicotillion brent new for France. But hornpipes, jigs, respays and reels put life and nettle in their heels. A winnock bunker in the east, there sat old Nick in shape of beast. A towsy tyke, black, grim and large, to gay the music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and got them skirl till roof and rafters I did dill. Coffins stood round like open presses that shod the dead in their last dresses. And by some devilish cantrape slight, each in his cold hand held a light, by which heroic Tam was able to note upon the haily table a murderer's banes and gibbet earns, twa span lang, we unchristened bairns. A thief, new cutted for a rape, with his last gasp, his gab did gape. Five tomahawks we blood red rusted, five scimitars we murder crusted. A garter which a babe had strangled, a knife, a father's throat had mangled, whom his ain son a wife bereft, the grey hairs yet stacked to the heft. We made of horrible and awful, which, which even to name would be unlawful. Three lawyers' tongues turned inside out with lies seemed like a beggar's clout. Three priests' hearts, rotten, black as muck, lay stinking vile in every nook. As Tammy glowered, amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. The piper loud and louder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew. They reeled, they set, they crossed, they click it, till Ilka Carlin swat and reek it, then cussed her duddies to the wark, and link it at it in her sark. Now Tam, oh Tam, had they been queens all plump and strapping in their teens, their sarks, instead of creasy flannin, been snow white seventeen hundred linen, their bricks o' mine, my only pair. That ain't were plush, a good blue hair. I would gay them off my hardies for a blink of the bonny birdies. But whether beldams, old and droll, brigwoody hags would spin a full, loupin and flinging on a crummet. Oh, I wonder, didn't a ton thy stomach? But Tam kenned what was what through brawly. It was a winsome wench and Wally that night enlisted in the corps, lying after Kend on Carrick's shore, for Monny a beast to dead she shot, and perished Monny a bonny boat, and shook both mickle corn and bear, and, and kept the countryside in fear. Her cutty sark o' Paisley Harn, well, as a lassie she had worn in longitude, though sorely scanty, it was her best, and she was vaunty. Ah, little Ken, thy reverend granny, that sark she coughed for her wee nanny, with twa pun Scots, twas all her riches, would ever graced a dance of witches. But here my muse her wing moncour, sick flights as far beyond her power, 
To sing how Nanny lap and flang, a simple jet she was and strang, and how Tam stood like in bewitched, and thought his very in enriched. Even Satan glowered and fidged we fain and harched and blew we might and main, till first day caper sin another, Tam tint his reason all together, and roars out, "Well done, Cutty Sark!" And in an instant, all was dark. And scarcely had he Maggie rallied when out the hellish legion sallied. As bees buzz out, we angry fight when plundering herds assail their bike. As open pussies mortal foes when pop she starts before their nose. As eager runs the market crowd when catch the thief resounds aloud. So Maggie runs, the witches follow. We mourn an eldritch screech and hollow. Ah, Tam, ah, Tam, they'll get thy fearin'. In hell they'll roast thee like a heron. In vain thy Kate awaits thy coming. Kate soon will be a woeful woman. Now do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and win the keystain of the brig. There at them thou thy tail may toss. A running stream they dare not cross. But ere the keystone she could make, the fiend a tail she had to shake for Nanny. Far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at Tam with furious ettle. But little was she Maggie's metal. A spring brought off her master heel, but left behind her ain grey tail. The carlin clattered by the rump, and left poor Maggie scarce a stump. Now, what this tale of truth shall read? Ilk man and mother's son. Take heed, when e'er to drink you are inclined, or cutty sarks run in your mind, think. Ye may buy the joys o'er dear. Remember, Tam O'Shanter's mare.